that's a lot of snow. What's going on guys? Jesse from Sled Addicts. So uh, I'm up here in, uh, where are we? Priceville. Priceville, Durham. A Durham, Durham area. And uh, a subscriber of mine uh, invited me to come riding. So uh, we, I drove up here as soon as I got off work and uh, we're gonna go for a little sled ride. Decent amount of snow, just enough to not be uh, turning up mud. Uh, so we're gonna go out and ride. Hey, welcome. Uh, I'm Dieter and uh, I'm a subscriber to SledX and I thought, oh, some snow this morning. So I thought maybe a good time to ask Jess to come for a ride. And uh, he responded right away and said, let's go. So here we are and we're gonna give her a whirl and see what happens. Yeah, can't wait. And we got, Dieter got a new sled last year. This is a 2021 uh, Polaris VR1850, 137. Sick ride. And then I'm taking out my new XRS 850. So we'll see you guys uh, when we get out there. Let's go. Lots of snow. I'm actually blown away. Not no mud turning up, so that's all that matters. Just get out for a little ride to scratch the itch. I think last year my first ride is about the beginning of December, so uh, we're earlier than that this year. My record is still November 17th at the Halliburton Forest. About uh, I think three seasons ago they were opened. Uh, they usually open early just because it's logging road. So as soon as they have like six inches of snow. They can open trail because they don't really need any um, uh, any base because they have the road is acts as base. But uh, last year they weren't open till like the middle of December, and uh, this year we'll see. Right now the weather doesn't look so promising. Uh, Cochrane is staying cold, so it should be good uh, for our trip uh, at the end of uh, or the beginning of January, January 1st to 5th. But listen, this is awesome. I get to get out and ride. I don't see any ground. I don't see any mud. I don't see any dirt. When I, <laughs> it's awesome. Dieter's an awesome guy for uh, shooting me a message and he just basically sent me a picture of his uh, driveway and he goes, you want to come for a ride? And I said, absolutely. And uh, I got off of work and uh, flew down there to go for a quick ride. This is awesome. He owns all this property. Snow falling, on, snow hanging on the trees. It's a winter wonderland over here. It was crazy. As I'm driving from Newmarket when I picked up the trailer to here, there was like no snow. It was grass. And I'm like, well, like, why am I wasting my time? Why am I driving all the way out here? And then like five minutes out of Priceville, all of a sudden there was tons of snow. <laughs> it's crazy. The weather yesterday was the snow that dropped. The snow squalls was extremely localized. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Pretty darn good. Right, eh? Yeah, definitely reasonable for a first ride. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> this is awesome. How many times have I said awesome in this video? I have no idea, but it's freaking awesome. Mike is gonna be jealous when he sees this. Zero. Zero. Oh, right now, let's see. Oh, let me put the key on. Right now, it's about 2.3 kilometers. That's it. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, this is crazy. Look at this snow. <laughs> When I was driving up here, I'm like seeing grass. I'm like, is he fucking with me? Like, <laughs> as I got as soon as I got like 10 minutes out, I'm like, holy fuck! Like it was it was night and day. Like, and then when I got home, I was like, fuck, it really saddled. I thought, holy. Yeah. I should, uh, yeah, no. Once I went back, it wasn't too bad. No, it's still beauty. 
All this untapped powder. <laughs> we can just ride around and once we get used to it, right? There isn't like yeah. the field drop, right? I don't yeah. know what you want to do or what. What? I don't know what you want to do, just sort of cruise around. I'm happy to cruise around, dude. You lead the way. Whatever you want to do, I'm game. <laughs> Winter in November. frost in the ground but it's only grass and uh, it's not muddy so it's a win-win sleds are getting the cooling they need they need and uh, we're riding so I can't complain I, I can't wait to get my uh, my Bergstrom triple point carbides to put on not like anything is gonna steer in this because it's just loose powder but the machine is pushing quite a lot and I haven't changed the setups in stock. I've only set up the preload. I still need to uh, back off my center spring until it's loose and then just a quarter turn to make it just not jiggle because then you get all the weight off of the... Because uh, the problem is when you order your sled, uh, it will come where the, fr the center uh, shock or the front track shock is set up. Uh, it's taking too much of the weight. So the sled is like kind of like a teeter-totter. So what I do is I back off that spring on the front track shock completely and then just tighten it half a turn so that it's not uh, wiggle, it can't wiggle or it can't move up and down. And that makes the machine handle like night and day better. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. I almost got it fully around. I got up here just at the perfect time. I got here at 2.30. By the time we stopped chatting and we started riding, it was like 3.30 and now it's sun starting to set. Hell yeah. Really curious to try that VR1 at some point this year and see what it's like. Can't wait to get out of the trails. This definitely does scratch the itch a little bit though. Definitely more than last year. Last year at my cottage, there was maybe like 15 centimeters of snow. Here, there's at least a foot and a half. I'm following Dieter, because I don't know if there's any objects that are gonna surprise us. So he knows his property better than anyone else. 7 Yeah. I sit down, I can't see cuz it comes in my face. I know. <laughs> Thank God you're in front. If you were behind me, it'd be even worse. Yeah, no, that screen is huge, though. Oh, it's massive, yeah. yeah. I was trying to play with it a bit to figure it out. Yeah, that's what I was saying before in terms of how, like, the placement on this gauge is poor because it, it's, it's low down. Your gauge is essentially where my GPS would sit, yeah. which when you're going down the trail, it's right in front of you. When I'm going down the trail and I want to look at my gauge, I got to look down. So do the riser block that, then? Well, the riser, not really, because I can do that, and I can see, but it's still, like, when I'm looking at the trail, this is, is basically just below my eyesight, and this is a step further. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's not ideal. They should have had it. They should have, yeah, the gauge should be up. Yeah. Oh, I love the smell of break-in. It smells <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> so bad. You have to clean it when you get it home, though. Yeah, I know. Fucking grass. Look at the snow, though. <laughs> That's awesome. It's more snow than I get usually. I guess we'll see how uh, waterproof your bag is. Yeah, we're gonna tell, yeah, yeah, good point. See how waterproof both bags are. They should be waterproof. <laughs> we shall see. It's almost like you gotta ride each separate trail every time because it puts things on the ground. 
Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that. Tons of powder. You weren't kidding when you said you had snow. <laughs> well, I was worried because Owen Sound, there's nothing. Yeah. When I left work, there was nothing. Like, huh. like four or five inches. Yeah, not enough to do anything. No. Huh. Yeah. It wasn't still here. Imagine I would have pulled in and there's no more snow. I'd be like, fuck, I gotta turn around and go all the way back. Son of a bitch, eh? Yeah, I'd be like, fuck you! <laughs> That's the of that prick. Yeah, exactly. And my battery was dead. It was? Yeah. When I started down there, I had to pull it. Weird. That's why they give you a pull start. <laughs> yeah, they I don't have one. <laughs> But the difference is, I don't know what it is of how they design the starter. Yeah. The starter on Skidoo is more reliable because I've never had it ever not start. My dad's machine, all the time it would happen and I have to pull it and then after I ride it for five minutes, battery's charged. But I've never ever had an issue with this machine starting, really? ever. So I don't know. Okay. If you want to go front video, go ahead. <laughs> He gave me permission to take the lead, so I'm just gonna follow his tracks. Look at the amount of fucking snow. <laughs> Look at the front end of my... <laughs> Can't even see the ski hoops. That time. That one is pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Perfect semicircle. Let her rip. Yeah, you can also adjust this if this is too far forward. Better? Yeah. Go ahead. Riding the VR1. You can already notice, even in the powder, how light the steering is compared. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Look at the screen. That's awesome. can tell when a machine is out of break-in. Ready to see her lift the skis? Epic. Clear off the camera so you guys can see. Beautiful sunset. It's a lot heavier on the steering, eh? A lot heavier, yeah. Because I haven't adjusted my suspension yet. That's why. What do you think? It's, it's good. Yeah, it just feels heavy. Yeah, and it doesn't have the gusto yet because not through braking. Yeah. Fifteen kilometers. Fifteen. Nice. What are you looking for? I'm just kind of playing with it. Oh yeah, you're playing with it? Yeah. Ride track and paused. Resume. Oh, 
That's weird. You have to start that, I think. Yeah, and get out of that. There you go, so there's the trail. So where are we? We are where that arrow is. That's pretty cool. Yeah. No, it's, it's a great system. Yeah, so... Yeah, there's the pond. So that's the main trail right straight across the road. Right where that white house is? Yeah. That main trail goes right across. Oh, that's cool. Sick. I can use a quarter tank just fucking around. Really? <laughs> what did I use? I used nothing. It was full. I filled it to the brim when I when I left. I'm ninety percent. <laughs> That's funny. Sweet. How do you like the headlight? Good, eh? Well, look at yeah. It's it's amazing. You can't tell because it's not dark, but they're way better than the stock lights. Yeah, low beam and high. The uh, the skidoo makes like an accessory light that you can put on. Yeah. But it lights up underneath, it doesn't really do anything for forward, like it doesn't give you any high beam or anything, so. The main trail is just right straight across, right just across from the side road there. Yeah. That's main trail right Oh, there. cool. Is that the, what's the trail called? D111. D111, yeah, the main one, yeah, yeah. The other thing I don't get about this area is how all of the other trails are just called local trail. Yeah. <laughs> it's confusing. Like, I don't know why they don't number them like they do in most places. Yeah, like we're all B, right? Yeah. And then as soon as, like, I remember when I was last year leaving Dundalk, like, there was, when we were coming through Chesley, that there wasn't a single trail name. They were all called local trail. And, like, I think there was one number, like, R156 or something. Yeah. And, like, they were all R156. Yeah, get to the intersections, right? There'll be a number. Yeah. Not. Yeah, it was yeah. weird. It's so, different yeah. type. Yeah. Okay, it's five o'clock. What time do you want to head back to? I have no rush. Okay. No rush. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. No. Cool. I want to try to get 30k. <laughs> it's not going to happen. 20. Oh, we'll keep going. Four more kilometers. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Go around the field. Well, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we're going to ride for a little bit longer and then I'm going to pack up and head back to the city or I'm going to get there by midnight if I don't leave soon. But, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed watching us uh, get out and uh, get a first rip uh, under our belt to scratch the itch just a little bit. And uh, consider uh, subscribing to the channel if you like the content and if you want to see more the of it. Machine's running at a good temperature. I'm in powder. What's not to love? <laughs> Beautiful sunset. It just gets better and better. Okay, should we go for more air this time? I think so. Ready? You know that one that one hill over there that I got air on? Yeah. You want to go to the other side and we can record it and I'll catch air? Okay. Okay. That'd be sick. That's the hill. Okay. What? You're straight off. I uh, launched right off. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel, where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.